All right, what's up everybody? Today we have uh, basketball three-point boxes from Target. These are some really interesting products. Uh, they're a bit different from your usual product, but uh, they're pretty representative of Target repacks. So in each of these boxes, you're gonna end up getting one autograph card, one memorabilia card, one hobby pack, and then three normal packs. Uh, so the hobby pack obviously makes this a little bit different than most retail products and as well as the inserts of the auto card and the memorabilia card. But before you start getting your hopes up, uh, the autograph cards and memorabilia cards are not gonna be good. Even though they show some pretty crazy uh, cards on the front, the MJ Fletcher, whole bunch of other stuff, uh, you're never gonna pull one of those. These aren't random, uh, they never purport to be, they never pretend to be. Uh, they even say everything's been purchased from the secondary market and repackaged by the Fairfield company. So there's not a chance that they're gonna give out something of extreme value in here. Uh, and furthermore, if I remember correctly, all of the hits, the autograph and memorabilia card are just put in the box loose. Uh, they're not sleeved, they're not in top loaders or anything. So even if you do hit something really good, it's gonna be pretty scratched up. The good news is uh, these boxes will only run you about $15. So if you add it all up, your three packs, say at $3 a piece, that's nine, plus even just another, you know, four for the hobby pack, that's 13. Really all you have to do is hit about $2 worth of cards each. In fact, I think these may have been $12 at my target. So just the packs cover the cost. Uh, so they're pretty good value, you know, if you're trying to get packs. It's really the only way to get hobby packs in retail. I can't think of any way else. Uh, but, you know, it's going to be searched. You're going to have bad cards. Your packs are probably going to be weighed to some degree trying to find hits versus, you know, just putting them in randomly. The good news is people have pulled multiple hits out of these, out of the hobby pack and out of the retail packs because it can be harder uh, to, you know, search packs than others, especially things like signature cards aren't thick. So let's dive right into them. Let's see what we got. Uh, hopefully we got some good stuff, but I'm not holding out hope. I'd be excited with anything, really. Uh, also, there's no way to know what any of your packs are going to be, yet again. Uh, completely non-random for them, but entirely random for us. So let's see what we got. So there's a look at how the packs are kind of set up. You can see you got your autos and your memorabilia cards in the back there. Uh, let's take these out first and take a look at what we got, and then we can go and look at the mem cards. So right away we have, okay, uh, NBA hoops, 12 cards per pack, 2014-15. So uh, that pretty much sums up how this is gonna go, I assume. Uh, so hoops, not overly hard. Inaugural edition, Skybox. Uh, so this is, I actually don't know. Innovative stats, special NBA scouting computer lets you compare each player with the average of all players at his position. See how a player might do if you played all 48 minutes of every game. Okay, uh, we'll have to take a bigger look at this. I don't really know what it is, to be entirely honest has 1990 on there, but there's no way this is from 1990. Then we got a Prestige 2017-18 pack. Uh, this is pretty good. You got Katie Kyrie. You got some interesting rookies in there, although that class is mainly a bust, in my opinion. Uh, but, you know, you get hit one or two cool things. And then you got a complete 16-17 uh, pack from Panini. So... I'm not actually sure which one's the hobby pack. Usually they come labeled to some degree, but I don't think we're gonna get that here. Uh, okay, well, we're gonna open those up. I'm really excited. Let's just go like this. Uh, we'll open them like that. But first, let's check out what's in our polls. What were our hits? Congratulate, okay, so number to 350. Uh, Okay, so double memorabilia card with J.R. Smith and Baron Davis. And actually, the edges don't look horrible for being loose in a pack. This corner is a bit messed up, if you can see that right up there. Um, you know, that could be way, way worse. Uh, J.R. Smith still 
not a hyper relevant player, but at least one that has a little bit of a cult following and Baron Davis isn't too bad either. And we got here for our auto, an SPX rookie actually, uh, Massage Lamp, number to 1999. So this is almost entirely worthless. The auto skews off the card. Uh, yeah, so this is the type of stuff you're gonna hit pretty often. Just cards where you look at the player and you're like, I have no idea who this is, but that's fine. Uh, that's what we expect and we're here for the packs yet again. That's where your, your real value is. So let's start with NBA Hoops. Let's see if we got anything. So NBA Hoops, if it was the same in this year uh, as the previous couple years, you're gonna not have any on-card autos. Uh, they're all gonna be sticker, lots of base cards. Oh and uh, a couple variants. So things like reds and so on are pretty likely to come out of retail packs, non insanely. So Channing Fry, Road to the Finals, Insert, Brooklyn at Toronto Raptors, uh, not a numbered card. You got an NBA Hoops rookie, Shabazz Na Napier, uh, Kemba Walker, Fast Lane, Insert, Picture Perfect, Tony Parker, Spurs, uh, also not numbered, I believe. A gold Carmelo Anthony, which is also not numbered, but is at least uh, a parallel. Nick Collison base card, Wesley Matthews base card, Kevin Martin base card, Chandler Parsons base card, George Hill base card, and Pau Gasol for the Bulls wearing a Lakers jersey. That's fun. Uh, so, okay, not much here. We got at least a gold. Uh, this may even be a gold insert variant. I'm not 100% sure. I don't really follow hoops that much. Uh, we'll just put that over here. Only one rookie card though, which is uh, not great, but that is what it is. Okay, prestige, eight cards per pack, a little bit higher end, a little bit higher price point. Let's see if we get anything. And also more modern. Uh, chance we get a pretty cool rookie from this pack. So let's see. Oh, looks like there is a Lopez, Robin Lopez on the back. Okay, cool. So let's see what we got. Uh, Otto Porter Jr. Prestige Base Card. Okay, Jason Tatum Rookie. Uh, not bad at all, actually. That's uh, that's a nice little hit right there. Uh, Hollow Kent Bazemore Prestige. Cool, we'll put that with the other hits. And a flip card, Chris Middleton. Uh, Hardcourt Heroes, Chris Middleton. Pretty foiled, uh, not numbered, I do not believe. But, you know, still kind of cool nonetheless. Uh, Goran Dragic, Rajon Rondo, the Lakers point guard, Scal Labissier, and Robin Lopez, as we already saw. So, not a ton, but we did get a cool uh, Jason Tatum rookie from Prestige. We got a, are they all, oh, so this would be a, a gold hollow or something like that. So not bad. And the Jason Tatum rookie, that's pretty good, that'll go up there. Uh, okay, so we have two packs left from this box. We have the inaugural, which has five cards per pack, or sorry, the complete, which has five cards per pack, and the Skybox inaugural edition. I have no idea what this is. Uh, I don't even think this pack has odds on it, uh, so that's a bit interesting. The complete pack has five cards, uh, 16, 17, so I think we save the Skybox since I have no idea what it is. And we can come back to that in a second. But let's start with this. Okay. Uh, not a great card on the back. Isaiah Kanan. But, you know, your luck can change pretty quickly with these sets. Complete Steph Curry base card. Uh, DeAndre Bembry rookie card. So, not great, but a rookie. Derek Williams for Miami Heat in a Knicks jersey. Also not great. And then Terrence Ross, rookie. And okay, Isaiah Cannon uh, in some sort of silver variant, unnumbered. 
So not hyper impressive, uh, one rookie card yet again, but you know, out of five, that's kind of understandable. Uh, you know, odds are against you, but whatever. Let's try the Skybox pack. So uh, the only date on this pack in general is the 1990. Uh, I don't see anything else on here. Inaugural edition. Okay, well, I'm gonna assume that this is probably our hobby pack unless I uh, messed up and missed something or it was that complete pack, probably could have been either. Uh, I wouldn't also be surprised if it turns out to be that hoops pack. That seems like something they would pull. You know, your one hobby pack being hoops, which you know is a lot of packs per hobby case and very little hits. Okay, these look cool. Uh, oh wow, look at those retro logos. Golden State Warriors down there. Uh, they're pretty interesting. I don't think it's foil. It may look a little foil on here. They're just really glossy. So. Sarunas Markellis, Bobby Hansen, Bill Lamber, Isaiah Thomas for the Pistons. That's a cool card. Wow, look at that Milwaukee Bucks logo right there. That's a, that's a weird one. Larry Christanthanis. Oh, I totally mispronounced that. Larry Smith. Um, okay, pack flips. Tony Campbell, Retro T-Wolves, Cliff Robinson, David Wingate, Todd Light with the old Denver Nuggets, that looks cool, Mitchell Wiggins, Ken Norman, a Dennis Rodman, that's pretty cool, Tim Kempton, and Tyrone Bogus. Uh, I'm going to be honest, I don't really know a ton of players from that era, uh, nor do I know this card set. I feel like this was, it was for sure, before the, uh, you know, the kind of modern history of 20 different variant types and hollow foils and all that sort of stuff. So it's cool to kind of go back to a retro pack where it's just kind of base cards and normal stuff. But if there was a hit out of this pack that I missed, let me know in the comments. Uh, I'll be sure to check them out online as well. So our first pack uh, wasn't horrible, wasn't great. We didn't get any extra hits. We got this gold Carmelo Anthony. It looks good, uh, but you know, just gold. We got a rookie uh, Napier and we got a Jason Tatum prestige rookie card, uh, which is actually really nice. I, I'm pretty happy with that. You know, we could have pulled worse cards. Uh, and then especially from our hits, we got an assist card, double memorabilia and a completely unknown rookie auto, which isn't bad, you know. Uh, it could have been two completely unknown players and just complete crap cards. So, you know, not horrible. And it looks like we got the same-ish packs in this one, which, you know, is to be expected, mainly because they're just kind of buying up boxes of stuff, searching through it, and then putting everything else in here. Uh, we got the inaugural edition again, NBA hoops again, uh, complete, and then prestige. So, it is what it is. We'll have to check those out. So this has 400 base cards for five cards per pack. That's insane. Uh, and it doesn't say non-base cards are included approximately one in every pack. I don't even know if we got one in the last pack, honestly. I think we just got base cards. Uh, basketball. So this has 50 rookies, base horizons, NBA horizons. There's a lot of stuff in this pack. So prestige, I like NBA hoops, you know, we already talked about that. So packs, we will open that in a sec, but first let's check our hits. Um, I'm glad we don't just get the same hits. Eric Gordon for the Clippers, a uh, rookie memorabilia card from Skybox, uh, upper deck. They don't make basketball cards anymore. Uh, so, you know, piece of history, as it says, pretty interesting. And then we got a Maccabi Norris Cole, Turkish Airlines Euro League, high class. Oh God, this is, uh, this is some next level stuff. No previous statistics, six foot two, uh, plays for the Turkish Airlines Euro League. And uh, it's a, a sticker signature. It's not even on card. 
Wow. So that's what we're talking about. Uh, they're going to be pretty much worthless. At least we did get one that was at least a little bit relevant. Had some players that we knew of on it. But uh, it's not where you're, where you're going for your money on these. Wow. I've been struggling with these packs today. Okay. Rookie. Brandon Ingram. Okay. Uh, Prestige, Alex Len, Sundarius Thornwell, rookie card, Rudy Gay, uh, Class Dennis Smith Jr., pretty good, Miles Turner, Indiana Pacers, Jeremy Lamb, Chris Middleton, and Brandon Ingram. Cool. Uh, nice little Brandon Ingram card there. I'm a pretty, I like him, good player, but, uh, We'll see how he does on New Orleans now. Let's check out this complete pack. Five cards. We got a Nikola Pekovic, Jordan McRae, Lance Thomas, Marcus Morris, and uh, Jeremiah Grant. So we did actually uh, get a non-base card, but it's just these silvers which is nothing spectacular. Pretty much bottom of the barrel in terms of where you could go. NBA hoops, bring it home. These may actually be our hobby packs. These are these GC 10 out of 14. Um, I'm not sure. Every other uh, opening of these that I've seen have had the hobby packs say on them, but these ones don't. So another Rajon Rondo. Uh, a, oh, okay, so we actually did. A Gorge, Gorge Jian, Dieng. I know he's still in there. I suck with names. Hot Signatures, uh, Sticker Auto, you know, kind of a, a very small little signature there, uh, which is pretty common for players nowadays. But that's uh, that could be way worse of a hit. Uh, way, way worse. Number. Not numbered, unfortunately. Um, but still a good looking card. Really good looking. Let's actually sleeve that up right away. So, uh, nice little hit there. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Getting even one other hit out of these packs is pretty good. Oh, wow. It looks like we have a lot in this pack. Uh, Jordan Adams rookie card. James Young rookie card. Doug McDermott, uh, rookie card, and a Jared Dudley for the Bucks in a Los Angeles Clippers uniform. Uh, what looks to appear to be some cool uh, green or hollow foil or something. That's a pretty nice hit. And then I'm assuming these are all going to be base. So we got a Tony Parker, a Trey Burke, a Lou Williams, uh, Blake Griffin. I thought that wasn't base for a second. Chris Humphreys and Kosa Kufos. Pretty good pack. Uh, lots of cool extra cards. Three rookies, uh, cool Jared Dudley hollow, and of course our hit, which is pretty awesome. Okay, Skybox. Let's see what else we get. 1990s. I don't even know where they would have been buying this stuff. Wow, look at that Cavs logo right there. Brad Doherty, Dennis Johnson. I love that the Clippers logo is like practically identical to what they were using a couple seasons ago. Ron Harper, Brian Irvin, Sherman Douglas, Alvin Robertson, Larry Smith. Magic's logo is atrocious. Nick Anderson, John Williams, Pete Myers. Ron Anderson, Jeff Hornack, Johnny Moore, Randy White, and Kevin McKay. Uh, some pretty basic stuff. Looks like that Celtics logo is just missing color. Wow. Uh, so let's go through what some of our hits were. We had this Jason Tatum, a couple different rookies, the gold, Carmelo Anthony. We, of course, had a R uh, auto from NBA Hoops, the Hot Signatures. Nothing here. Uh, another rookie card in Sundarius Thornwell. 
we have our Rajon Ron, that's not a hit, that's just mixed in with the hits. Our Green Hollow Jared Dudley, that's kind of cool. Uh, three more rookies, James Young, Jordan Adams, and Doug McMurmont. Our Silver Jeremiah Grants, or Gray, I don't know how they refer to them. Uh, prestige was pretty unprestigious. And more of the Skybox. DeAndre Bembry rookie card. Silver or gray again. Hardcore Heroes, kind of cool. Uh, cool little Prestige Hollow. Nothing really there. Oda Porter Jr. NBA Hoops. Uh, probably nothing here, I don't think. Tony Parker picture perfect and then some cool little inserts. So that's it. Uh, we also, of course, have our included autos and memorabilia cards. Uh, some dude from the Turkish Airlines Euro League, uh, rookie preview of Eric Gordon, dual mem card with, uh, what was it, J.R. Smith and Baron Davis, and an SPX rookie of Makaj Lamp for the Knicks. So that's it. Uh, if you're interested in any of these cards, uh, <laughs> reach out to me on Instagram, I guess. Uh, link is in the comments. But uh, this is pretty fun. $14 or $11 or $12, however much it was, is a pretty cheap price to pay to get a hobby pack, get three more packs, and at least get a chance at some cool auto and memorabilia cards.